Hey guys, this is Irene and I wanted to talk about submission and not so much uh, the woman's role in submission, but more men that expect submission, but are not worthy of submission. So first let me say I'm coming from a Christian perspective. Um, so no girlfriends, don't be in submission to your boyfriends. Okay. Um, you should not be wanting to be anybody's girlfriend anyway. You should make a man court you. If he's not, doesn't look at you as somebody that he potentially wants to marry, then you know what? Let him kick rocks, okay? Because you're not there to be like his sex kitten or his, you know, surrogate wife or the Bible calls them concubines where you do all the things that a married woman does but you don't have the benefit of that union. With that said, um, also, uh, overall women are to be in submission to men. So godly men, obviously, at my church, if any of the men say anything to me, Irene, that shirt's too low cut or... Irene move forward to the microphone or anything whatever whatever they would say to me nobody said first of all let me say nobody at my church has ever said my shirt is too low cut because I wouldn't <laughs> not at church um, but whatever they would say to me I would be obedient okay I would be obedient to them and obviously to my husband anything you know if you're married anything that your spouse says at all like whether you like it or not you just need to be in submission to your spouse, okay? Unless it is something that is going to go against scripture, then you just need to get on the bandwagon. It's not, you know, you're not in a position to be arguing and being combative with your husband. That's not our place as women. But there are a lot of men who demand submission and they're totally not worthy of submission or they don't know what to do with submission, okay? Uh, men can get on a power trip, uh, men can demand submission but but not want to do their part of the job and so that's often a problem I think even for women who are submissive it can be dif difficult because there's a lack of men willing to take that role so if, if you're looking for a husband and you're looking to be submissive to someone but the men you are encountering are looking for liaisons or looking for girlfriends with benefits or, you know, those sorts of things that can be very difficult. Or maybe you're in a relationship with somebody and you want to be submissive, but they feel that um, to control you, they've got to put you down or to control you, they need to put their hands on you or to control you, they have to yell um, or they're not, you know, I have an uncle that has two jobs, you know, and I've talked about him so many times. He ran a business, was working, doing all kinds of things. You know, they don't want to um, put in the work to be a provider and things like that. It can be very, very difficult for a woman. And so I, I also feel like men have to be introspective as well. It's so easy to look at women and be like, women are no longer submissive. Women are no longer this and that. But where are you? You know, where do you stand? Are, are you doing the things that you need to do as a man to be somebody that commands submission? Because we all know that person whether that be our grandpa, our father, uh, a man we know, every woman knows a man who brings out the submissiveness in her, where she just knows like this isn't the one to do that with. And you need to be that man. You need to be the man that commands that submission by virtue of your manhood. Because it's a built-in thing. Like women, we're built that way. If you haven't learned that about yourself, you haven't been around the right men. We are built for submission. So it's not a huge leap for us to give that. But, okay, but we need our men to draw that out of us. And we need men to demand that. You know, there are a lot of qualities in um, women that men may like or want. For example, um, I don't wear pants, okay? It's more feminine that way. But if you'll settle for a woman who's not behaving in a way that you feel is appropriate for a woman, there's no reason for women to change. So this comes into being that, bringing the submission out of a woman. You know, if you don't want women who have slept with a hundred guys, stop trying to have sex with them. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You draw the hoe out of a woman when you've got a bunch of men walking around after sex, but you draw the wife out of a woman when you have a bunch of men walking around looking for wives. 
you know, being worthy of what you expect to receive. You expect to receive somebody chaste. You expect to receive somebody submissive. You expect to receive somebody that can cook a meal. Then men have to carry themselves, you guys, in a way that draws that behavior out of women. Back when a woman couldn't get a woman couldn't get a husband if she wasn't a virgin, would be sullied. Women stay chaste, or they literally had to become prostitutes. Whole lot more marriages back then. You know, we have to start making certain things socially unacceptable. And our men have to jump into a leadership position to deserve the level of submission from women that so many of you complain you're not getting. And this isn't about where women are from, because quite frankly, if you're a beta, no matter where your woman's from or what you think you're running, you're not gonna run anything. You have to project that manliness to receive that behavior from a woman. You know what I mean? It's essential. It's absolutely essential. So I guess the moral of this is be worthy of the submission that you demand. Carry yourself in a way that attracts a woman who is submissive. I've had men approach me who want me, but honestly, sorry you guys, I had like a three-year-old crisis, but anyway, <laughs> anyway um, I've had men come to me and they step to me because they know I'm a traditionalist. They know I'm submissive. She likes to cook from scratch. She, you know, is feminine. She comes from a good family, da, 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 da. And have a lot of demands that they just come to the table with. But you know, as a woman, any woman with sense or any sense of value for herself, she is looking for things too. Is this blurry? It was blurry, sorry. So you have to be worthy of, of receipt of that. Just a period when you're dealing with a woman. Like you just, you have to bring to the table something that complements what you want the woman to bring to the table. It's not just about making demands. I think that's kind of what guys think it is. It's just like, I'm demanding. And if you don't do it, you're not submissive. No, no. Only a fool, only a stupid woman is going to be just submissive to you because that's what you demand. Submiss submission is something that is earned and then when you're married, something that is owed. And I just wanna say, just as a side note, women, if your husband is an awful husband, um, we still have to be submissive. You know, from a Christian perspective, it has nothing to do with it. His worthiness, doesn't really come into play because we do it in obedience to the Lord more than him you know some things aren't about the other person some things are just about our relationship with God that's just some side food for thought and um, with that said I'm gonna get out of here I will talk to you guys later um, I don't know what about Oh, actually I do. I think I'm gonna do a perfume review, a, a perfume review on one of my favorite perfumes. So I think you guys will be seeing that coming up. But other than that, um, I will speak to you guys a little bit later. Bye.